Good morning everyone and welcome to morning prayer from St Anne's, St Mary's and St Winifred's. I thought we were going to have a summer day today by the sunshine this morning. It's clouded over a bit now. Hopefully we'll get a warm day today. We begin our day bringing ourselves before God in prayer today. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. On Sunday we celebrated the festival of Pentecost. On Tuesday I spoke about the gifts of the Holy Spirit and yesterday we read about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. I'd like us to read today about the prayer of the Spirit. Reading from Paul's letter to the Romans chapter 8 and beginning at verse 18. Paul writes to the Christians in Rome. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay, and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labour pains until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly, while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope, we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope, for who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. Amen. God's word to us today from the book of Romans to encourage us this morning. Encourage us with those words from Paul about what it's like to be a child of God. I wonder if you recognise Paul's description there. It's wonderful to know God and wonderful to have the hope of God's coming kingdom. But it's also painful. Painful to look around and see the creation still groaning in its bondage. And not only the world around us but also in our lives, the sufferings of this present time, as Paul puts it, whatever that is for us. It's in this waiting that Paul speaks of the prayer of the Spirit within us, even when we don't know what to pray or how to pray. The Spirit prays to God on our behalf, even when we don't have words 
we still have that communion with God. So that's the good news that I want to encourage us with today, even in those times where we don't have words to describe how we're feeling. God is with us. He has not left us. He still lives in his children by the Holy Spirit. And that spirit, as Paul says here, helps us in our weakness. So however we feel today, whether we are in the sufferings of this present age, or whether we're praying for those who are, let's lift ourselves and those we know before God in prayer today. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this news today. But even when we don't know how to pray or what to pray, you have not left us. If we are your children, your spirit lives in us. And your spirit prays on our behalf. Lord God, we pray for ourselves and those we know who are in a time of difficulty at the moment, that they will know the peace and presence of your Holy Spirit supporting them today. We lift up before you, Lord, any we know and those we don't know who are ill at this time, who are grieving the loss of a loved one, whose situation is insecure, or who are working flat out for our nation. We will continue to lift before you, Lord, the healthcare workers, those involved in the vaccination programme, those who make decisions on our behalf. And we pray, Lord, for your Holy Spirit to be with them, to give them clear thinking, clear wisdom, to know what to do for us. Father, we pray that we would see your kingdom coming more and more around us each day. We pray, Lord, for your kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Spirit, we pray to you, Father. Amen. We join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you to you all for joining us for morning prayer today. If you are new with us here on Facebook, then we have a morning prayer every morning at nine o'clock Monday to Friday or live on the St Anne's Facebook page. And we try and upload that really soon after to the St Mary's Norton Cookney Facebook page and then upload to YouTube later in the day. We also have our open church time on a Friday morning from 8.45 until 10 o'clock, including the live streaming of morning prayer at 9 o'clock. So if you'd like to come into the church to join us to pray, then feel free to do that. Then our Sunday worship at St Anne's and St Mary's is at 9.30 on Sunday mornings. 
you can join us in person or online for those services and then indeed at four o'clock in the afternoon at St Anne's we have our children's church Ignite in the hall and our cafe style church St Anne's at four in church. Do join us if ever you can, you'll be very welcome. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.